Hello Salesforce Ohana, my name is Walters954 and in this video I'm going to be going over the FlowFest V1 first challenge. If you've never heard of FlowFest, it is a community driven flow building competition. People from all around the world get together to take on challenges building flows and doing other creative things with flows. FlowFest version 2 is kicking off soon, or whenever you're watching this, there may be another version of FlowFest happening. We're going to be going over the first challenge, which has to do with get record sorting and finding the maximum value. And at the end of this, I'll actually show you all how to do something a little bit more practical potentially in your org. So let's jump into this flow right after the message from our sponsor. Wait a minute, I don't have any sponsors. Let's jump into the flow. Let's take a look at our question here. We are looking for closed one opportunities with the highest amount. Whichever single opportunity we find, we're looking for that one. And then we want to update the account that's related to it. Uh, and this is based on uh, the amount, The we're gonna update the annual revenue field. So once we grab that opportunity, we wanna update it. So some of you may be tempted if you've used um, flows before to do a get and select all of our opportunities and you'll get them in a collection. So maybe there's one with like 1K and there's 5,000, 5, the amounts. These are the amounts that are in here. Um, some for 6K and 20 and five. And you know, let's say that there's 100 at the end. And some of you that are familiar with this, you might say, okay, uh, since we have our collection, now we wanna look through, loop through all of them looking for the, the the one with the highest amount which ideally it's this one right it's it's in this scenario we are getting the last one because it's the one with 100k in it um, but there's actually a simpler way which I'll be showing you using some sorts to actually get this done um, but this is a viable option and is not the most efficient option in terms of rotating through them we want to make sure that Salesforce is doing a lot of the heavy lifting for us so that we're being as efficient as possible. All right, so before we jump into our actual flow, let's take a look at our opportunities and see if we can find out which one has the highest amount. So we can see here that I have uh, this opportunity and I've sorted by the amount. And uh, this is this United Oil Refinery Generators. What we're looking to do if we complete this challenge is this nine hundred and fifteen thousand dollars will end up in for the opportunity amount will end up in our uh, annual revenue field here so we want to place that value it's the highest um, at least for completing the challenge it's the highest opportunity amount and we want to place it on the account so to get this started let's go to setup let's create our flows our go to flow and then we will create a new flow this will be an auto launch flow. Uh, you want to do auto launched if you want to break up your flow um, to be more modularized and then you place them inside of other flows. And then also if you're completing the challenge for FlowFest, it would need to be a um, it would need to be an auto launch flow. So let's get a record here and we're gonna get our opportunities. Let's do get ops type in opportunities. And then what we're seeing here now is for our conditions. So if we're looking at the uh, criteria that we needed for the challenge, our stage needs to be equal to closed one. And then uh, that's it, at least for the criteria that we have to have for our opportunity. Now, uh, this is where uh, what we were talking about earlier, some people may say, okay, let's grab all the close one opportunities, put them in a collection, and then now we're going to start looping through them. We're gonna loop through each of those individual ones and find the highest one. We'll need to do some sort of comparison to get that working. Now, that's not the most efficient way. I said, let's make sure that Salesforce is working for us. So what we want to do is use the uh, sorting options that we have here. So we've got ascending and descending. Uh, if it's in descending order, you know, we're starting from the largest going down and then ascending means, you know, smallest going up. So this can come in handy when you're using certain values that you want to potentially look for in child records or something like that. So in this example, uh, we want to do it descending 
based on the amount, similar to what we had on our list view descending versus the amount, and we're only looking for the closed one values. So in our flow, we've got our descending based on amount, and then we're selecting only the first record. So it will give us back the record that we're looking for automatically. Next, for the challenge, we need to update our account. So we're going to go in here and say update account. We're going to create that record. And we're not using, we, we don't have any records or anything already created that, that is the account that's related to it. So we're unable to use this. Instead, we are going to uh, do identify the record ourselves. So let's find that account. And to find the account related to the uh, opportunity that we are working with, we're going to use the ID because we know that on our opportunities, you see here's our get record. This is the one that we got from the beginning. Every opportunity has to have an account ID. It's a master detail relationship there. From there, we can set our annual revenue field. The annual revenue field gets set from our get record once again, and we're going to set the amount of the opportunity into the annual revenue field. And that's it, right? We're going to save this and run it so that uh, inside, when we when we submit to FlowFest, it will update the value that we're looking for. So let's call this opportunity, since that's kind of the main record that we're dealing with, and then update count uh, revenue. And this is an auto-launched flow. So this is a little naming scheme that I work with. Uh, you can use whatever works out best for you. Let's go ahead and debug this. And we see here that it's not asking us for any input because ideally we just want to find the largest one. There can only be one at this point or Salesforce will decide for us. So we're going to run it and um, let's let's take a look at the values that came out here. So the this looks like an account ID 001 or, or what the IDs, the account IDs always start with. And it looks like an amount got updated here take a quick peek at our get record, it did find something, which is great. Uh, jumping back, let's take a look at the account that this found. And we can see here, the annual revenue is set on that account. So that worked out perfectly. We found our value and then in FlowFest, uh, ideally, uh, if you're if you're following the correct steps, there would be a submission that would happen here. Um, you'd call an action and set the text in. But that that's it for FlowFest, at least for this first challenge, right? We were able to set our annual revenue to the highest revenue that ex the highest revenue opportunity that existed. Perfect. Now that this is done, I want to make this a little bit more useful. There, at least for the opportunity amounts, there are already out of the box functionality that can help us find this. And we can see it here, right? I, I created a roll up summary called largest amount that does exactly what our formula field is doing. So it, it's not very practical to do this in your org, but what something that is a little bit better is to update the largest one opportunity on each of your accounts. Maybe you just wanna keep track of those. Uh, so to do that, uh, let's jump back into our flow that we just created and make a few slight adjustments and we'll make this flow even better than what it currently is. So the first thing we want to do is still keep potentially this criteria here, but we want to be able to dictate or set the accounts that this is running on. Because right now it, it will only ever pick up the highest amount opportunity that it finds ever. And in this case, it'll continue to find that United Oil and Gas opportunity. So instead of doing that, let's enter in our account ID. And we need to basically set the account ID anytime this is running. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, look through some of these things. We don't have the option to insert an account ID. So let's create a new resource make this a variable and we're going to call this account ID. Make it text and the big key here is to make it available for input. So we want somebody else or somewhere else to tell us which account ID we are using. So we'll go ahead and 
get done with that. And then there's a couple other things that we want to just double check in here, right? So we are still getting the opportunities based on if the uh, stage is closed one and we're getting the highest one because we want to find the largest one. This looks great. So now we want to jump over to the update and we are still updating the same account and updating the annual revenue. Annual revenue doesn't really make that much sense um, in this context, I would assume you want to do some roll-ups. So instead, let's change this to the largest opportunity that we have won. And to do this, we need to set the largest opportunity one field to the opportunity that we have gotten in the ID. So basically, we're going to come in here and say which, which opportunity is the largest opportunity that we have for this account that may be more useful for you than just showing a number in here because then you can go into the opportunity. Um, so let's go ahead and hit done, save, and just a, a quick thing, you know, this is an opportunity to look up um, and let's go to activate and debug this. So now it's asking for an account ID when we debug this. So let's throw in this account ID, hit run. We're now seeing that it's going through and it did find a record, right? And it's updating the, the largest one opportunity. Now let's look back at the record. We can see it here. Largest one opportunity is in here. A little bit more useful. If we go into our Burlington textile, I'm gonna grab this ID and debug it again, throw this in. So now if we look at these two values, hey, we found one, here's the largest opportunity. We have now set that on our record in here. So here's a, here's the largest opportunity for that. And we can see you know, our auto, our roll-up summary field automatically added to this as well. So it, it's working perfectly. So now that we have our auto launch flow complete, we want to trigger it somehow. And in this example, I just have an opportunity main triggered. It's a record trigger flow. Uh, and that there's no criteria on it. So anytime an opportunity is created or updated, we want to call that process to rerun all those values to make sure that our largest opportunity on the account is correct. So let's go ahead and get this updated. What we want to do is call a subflow. And this, our subflow is called, here it is, opportunity uh, update account revenue. We're gonna update our parent account revenue and we need to have an input value or else it's not gonna know what it's selecting from. And our input value is going to be the current opportunity that we're working with and then we're going to get the account ID because we, if we still remember over here, if we remember from our original flow, we we're getting our opportunity uh, based on the account ID. So this is perfect. Let me actually activate this as well. And then over here, we need to send through our opportunity account ID. Save this and then activate. Now, anytime we go ahead and update an opportunity, it's going to rerun that calculation and make sure our account has the largest opportunity on it. So let's just test this out one more time. Uh, we can see that this Burlington textile is the largest one currently. Let's see what happens when we drop this down to zero. So we've dropped this down to zero. Let's go back to our account. And we see that, pretty sure this changed, or m maybe there are no, oppor no other opportunities. Let's take a peek. Yeah, this is, the only, this is the only opportunity for it. So let's try to find one with multiples. Now let's look for an opportunity we see that this one is closed one and this one is closed one. Uh, we've got a couple other ones that are not. There's actually one that's higher at one million. So let's go to this one over here and let's change this to maybe 1.2 million. Uh, and this one is closed one, so let's hit save. So now what we are expecting when we go back to that account is that this is now saying 1.2 million and the largest one opportunity has updated to the 1.2 million one. So this is a little bit more practical, uh, but it still goes over the key concepts, which is using sorting and using Salesforce more efficiently to get values that we are looking for. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to like, and if you haven't already, I don't know why, 
uh, subscribe to the channel. I plan on making content more regularly. I know I've been out for a little while now, uh, just with a lot of things going on. I mean, I was actually a judge in Flowfest V1. So if you're planning on competing in Flowfest, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And if you don't think you're up to the challenge, I would say go for it anyways. Uh, as always, I believe in you.